Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Instagram Sun and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season two, episode five of Avatar The Last Airbender called Avatar Day. So Momo woke up Sokka because there was a spider web in his mouth with the spider, so he wanted the spider. And then we cut to where the um, Fire Nation surrounded him. I think they're called the Rough Rhinos. Anyway, because they're riding like, these fire um, rhinos, but they got away. Um, except for Sokka's boomerang and sleeping bag. So he was very upset about that because um, Guitar and Aang got their stuff, but not his. Then they go to this town and it's Avatar Day. Wow, it's Avatar Day there. And um, they see all these flows of um, Aang, um, Kyoshi, and Roku, and they set it on fire. And, um, then we cut to where the blue spirits stole food and a bunch of other stuff. Then we go back to where Katara puts out the fire on the floats and the crowd is scared of the Avatar. And we find out that Kyoshi off their leader and wants it. And the leader of the current thing wants a trial. So Aang will do that and they'll follow their rules and customs. And, um, they won't take water to try the money, so, um, he can't post bail. <laughs> so then we catch where Sokka helps him, and then we catch where the Blue Spirit stole gold from, like, this really rich man, and, like, this, he was traveling in one of those carriages, and, you know, kind of like, almost like the medieval times, you know, they're walking through, like, riding through, like, a little carriage, anyway, he stole a big crap load of money. Then we cut to where Sokka and Katara are at the crime scene, and Sokka helps solve some of it. So basically, um, the temple and the statue were both built after Kyoshi was long gone, and it was like many years later. And so therefore, because the guy said that Kyoshi stepped out of the temple and off the leader, but the temple was made way after. Anyway, so they go to Kyoshi to get some more answers, and you have the fainting guy again. And they go to the shrine, and we found out also that Suki and the warriors are now in the war, and that they had an impact on Sokka and Aang and Katara. So they get relics, and we found out that Avatar Kyoshi had the biggest feet, so she also couldn't commit the crime because the first print is super, super small. Then, um, and also, Kyoshi Island was created, um, on the day as well. This, I think this is, like, 375 or 370-year-old, um, holiday or something. So, bells and sunset, not sunrise, like the guy was saying, on Kyoshi Island. Because of the painting. Anyway. Then, um, uh, then we cut to where Aang gets along with the prisoners, and they're talking about girls. <laughs> and, uh, then we talk about, um, so anyway, Katar and Sokka come back. And that was a funny moment when they were d discussing evidence, because Katar kept solving it before Sokka did, and finally he, like, pushed her out of the way when, he, he was about to when she was about to mention the <laughs> solving it, <laughs> so he could solve it. And then uh, Katara snapped him with that um, bubble pipe dragon. <laughs> anyway, it was really funny. So anyway, uh, we found out that their core system is stupid because the guy that's in charge of the village, he says, I'm going to say what happened and you're going to say what happened and I'm going to decide who was right. And there's like no evidence at all. <laughs> And then we cut to where they met, go with the, um, with the proceedings, and Aang totally screwed it up because he wasn't elaborating it enough. Then we cut to where Iroh is disappointed with Zuko, with Zuko, like, stealing stuff, because, like, he sold that gold, then he bought, like, a bunch of stuff to help his uncle, which I get, but still not right. But Iroh was not having it, really, and tells him, like, there is a certain quality you can learn being in poverty and everything. So I would try to work on that. And that doesn't sit well with Zuko. So he's like, okay, I thought about it. Because he went away and came and was like, I thought about it and we should separate. I have nothing to came from traveling with you. Which is like, 
rude, but okay. Then we cut to where uh, Katara calls um, Avatar Kyoshi to the stand. <laughs> <laughs> and um so that took a second but Avatar Kyoshi did show up because um Aang was wearing her garments and like her face paint and like her relic fans and stuff like that and she literally confessed and said that the man was like a horrible tyrant and she separated the island and he refused to move from the spot so technically he did it out of stubbornness she didn't actually really do anything but she separated the island and so she can create Kyoshi Island to protect her people. So he's still technically guilty. <laughs> and uh, so now we have the Wheel of Punishment. <laughs> and people are like, you got all these different punishments. Like, eat by a shark, eaten by a bear, pins and needles. And Katara's like, community service, community service, community service. Please, community service. And it landed boiling in hot oil. And then we cut to where the Rough Rhinos um, uh, come back. Wow, can I talk? So Zuko's leaving. Then we cut to where Zuko's leaving. And that Iroh gave him that bird thing to have. Then we cut to uh, where um, the leader of the village is asking Avatar to help. And so he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I would love to help, but I'm going to see boiled in oil. And so he switched it to community service, like, okay, now help us, help the community. And so um, we have a really cool um, fight scene, because he decides to help, and Sucka guys has been right back, and they literally take out the Rough Rhinos, which was super cool. And now it's a new Avatar Day, and it's basically on Friday, as the trait, to celebrate him not getting boiled in oil. Yeah. And that was in the episode. I really like this episode because it, it had the right amount of silly and stuff because when Sokka was going to lay out how smart a detective work he is, like he just kept going on and on and on and actually pays to, to angle it. Not me. <laughs> and um, also the talk between the prisoners because at first she thought going to be like super aggressive towards them and they end up being like really, really nice and why is it saturated so bad? I don't understand. I can't really win. Sorry. Anyway, so uh, they you will thought the prisoners will be really bad, but they're all like helping them out and like telling them to ask out Katara and talking about girls and stuff. So that was pretty freaking. I, I, I like that scene a lot too because you know, I mean, they're all tatted up and have scars and everything. Like, you don't know actually what their crimes were because <laughs> uh, the court system is so dumb in that village. <laughs> But um, it was also like, a really cool scene after Arkea. She come back and explain herself and her side. So yeah, she do get to hear her side. So that was pretty cool as well. So I gave their all episode an A. It wasn't an A plus for me, but it was up there. I really, really enjoyed it. I still laughing at some of the jokes, even though I've seen this series probably like three times. So anyway, really good episode. Really enjoyed it. That's one different this video. So like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree? Disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.